exciting one because it is a collab with one of my very first YouTube friends. Her name is Misty. I will link her channel as well as her video down below. We decided to collaborate on some 4th of July inspired looks. Misty was one of my very first loyal subscribers. She watched every single video of mine. She commented on every single video of mine. And this was back when I sat in front of this big window with all natural lighting with a sheet behind me. So she will always be in my heart as one of my very first loyal, interactive subscribers. And so through her showing me love on my channel, I decided to check her channel out and I'm so glad that I did because she is so talented when it comes to makeup. So I'm so excited about her look as well as my own. I will link her video in the description box down below so make sure you go check it out after you watch my video. And if you are here from Misty's channel, hello! I'm so, so, so excited that you are here. I hope that you stay a while. I hope you subscribe. I post Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So a couple things about this look. I used all drugstore items. So this is a 100% drugstore slash affordable look as well as drugstore slash affordable brushes. Of course, I decided to go with the classic red lip, but this look would look amazing with a nude lip as well. If you think the red is a little bit too much with the eyes, whatever your outfit is, maybe a little much, but you know, I'm patriotic, it's fine, it's fine. So enough of my rambling, if you wanna see how I got this look right here, then let's go ahead and get started. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and start off by priming the face, of course. I'm using this primer by The Ordinary. It's called the High Adherence Silicone Primer. You can get it on Beautylish for super duper cheap. For foundation, I'm using the L'Oreal Infallible Total Cover Foundation. This is in the shade 301, just applying that to my skin using a Real Techniques Beauty Sponge. I'm gonna go ahead and prime my eyes right now using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Eyeshadow Primer. For concealer, I'm using my Maybelline Fit Me in the shade 15 Fair. Now to set that all in place, I'm using my RCMA No Color Powder. Again, you can get this on Beautylish for super duper inexpensive. I'm using this under my eyes as well as all over the rest of my face to set my concealer as well as my foundation. Now to bring a bit of a warmth back into the skin, I'm using my Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer in the shade Bronzer. I'm using that to carve out my cheekbones and I'll bring it up onto my temples, my forehead, the sides of my nose, maybe a little bit underneath my lip, make it just a little bit poutier. Now for blush, I'm using my Wet n Wild Apricot in the Middle blush. And for that glow, I'm gonna go ahead and use this Super Shock Cheek by ColourPop in the shade Spoon. I'm just gonna pop that on my cheekbones, a little bit on my nose, my Cupid's bow, all the usual glowy, glowy places. Now to set that all in place, I'm gonna go ahead and spray my face with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Setting Spray. And then we can go ahead and move on to eyes. First I'm grabbing this Coastal Scents shade called Neon Red. I'm using an e.l.f. blending brush and I'm just gonna buff that in my crease sort of as a transition shade. This is just gonna help the whole look look nice and diffused. Now I'm taking American Rose, also by Coastal Scents, and I'm going to tuck this a little bit tighter in the crease using an e.l.f. pencil brush. Just grabbing that same ColourPop highlight, I'm gonna use that to highlight my brow bone as well as my inner corner. 
using a large eyeshadow brush by Wet n Wild. I'm gonna go ahead and line my tight line using the ColourPop Creme Gel Liner in the shade Swerve. This is gonna help my lashes to look much, much fuller. For liner, I'm using the NYC Liquid Liner in the shade Extreme Black, but of course, In my waterline, I'm going to go ahead and use another creme gel liner by ColourPop, but this one is in the shade Exit. It's a stark white, and that's just going to really help to open up my eyes. I'm also sort of buffing this along my lower lash line, and then I'm going to set it using Wet n Wild Sugar Eyeshadow, and this is going to help that blue glitter really pop underneath the eyes. Speaking of which, I'm using the Revlon Photo Ready Eye art in the shade green glimmer. I'm just using that glitter side there and I'm just gonna run this along my lower lashes. I'm gonna do about two coats of this and then I'm gonna skip ahead to mascara. I'm using my Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara and for lashes I'm gonna pop on some Ardell 113s. Now I'm gonna go in with another eye art by Revlon. This one is in the shade Midnight Glitz and I'm gonna pop that on top of that other shade just to bring a little bit more dimension to the glitter. Now I'm popping the same mascara on my lower lashes. And I'm just gonna set all my brow hairs in place very quickly using my CoverGirl Easy Breezy Brow Shape and Define. I'm grabbing that on a brush by ColourPop. I believe this is their angled brush and I'm just gonna go ahead and carve out my brows using that. And last but not least, for lips, I'm using the ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip in the shade Creeper. Such a classic, beautiful, perfect for 4th of July red. And that's everything for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure you go check out Misty's video below. Make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss any future videos of mine, and I will see you guys next time.